There's so much to be excited about. I think the convergence of data sets and technology have changed the way we view and operate in the media landscape. It's certainly escalated everything that's happening across all channels. Um, and I, I don't think that's uh, an opinion of one. I think that's probably a very widely um, understood opinion. And that's exciting because it allows us to understand more about uh, what people are really doing. Right? And that's, that's a big change from the last five years where we're using a lot of model data and survey data where now we have real time understanding of what people are doing, what their behaviors are, what they consume and why they consume it. Uh, and it'll just continue to go down that path. So um, you have a perspective of digital and we're watching the, the world of TV and digital continue to evolve to become the best of both worlds. Um, what's your perspective on this and how are you helping it along, particularly in your, your new role? Sure. My perspective is the more we can, again, understand what, what real people are doing across channels, uh, the greater benefit to clients because then they, we really understand how to reach the right people to move a business, to get them to engage, get them to interact. And that's critical because with the fragmentation, um, we could spend efforts across all channels, all platforms, and not really understand things like duplication, frequency controls, uh, and with the elevation of digital and technology overlaid into some of the more traditional channels, it gives us that clarity, not fully, and that's what a lot of the conversation has been so far here at, at uh, the Beat Retreat, uh, but we're getting closer and it's giving us a greater understanding. If nothing else, it's allowing us to take a step back and ask the right questions. What's your perspective as you live in Austin, Texas, and the, the media transactions are happening um, primarily in the, you know, the major New York markets? What's your perspective on the clients that you have and how are you moving that along to be consistent with that? So it's, it's a good question and one we're often asked. I think the benefit of us being in Austin is um, we can approach things a little bit differently. And the way our agency is structured is we are a full, fully integrated um, offering. And so the way we look at it is integrated thinking. And so that is a great value for clients because we're looking at the, everything holistically versus in disparate parts based on disparate agencies. Um, when we look at the activation and investment components, because we are connected and uh, with Omnicom, I have a really great relationship with everyone in New York at Omnicom, so we're able to bridge that um, for our clients. And that's a really important aspect and a benefit to us. So um, you are known to be someone that wants to change the way clients view media. Talk to us about your perspective on that and how are you bringing the team along? Because they obviously don't have as much experience and perspective as you do. My, my philosophy is uh, media is somewhat of an antiquated term. Um, the assumption is media includes mostly investment. And you're doing partnership deals, you're layering on technology, and you're activating campaigns. What's missing in all that is truly understanding who the audience is, who cares about what you're putting out there, and who's going to engage in that content. But more so, how does that audience strategy really impact things like creative messaging? And if we're in specific channels, do we create something unique and customized based on what the consumer's expecting from that channel or that platform, or really that content? And so my my evolution, the evolution within my group is really focused on the idea of consumer engagement. Um, and so I've been working with my team to create practice areas focused on consumer engagement across the entire ecosystem from audience strategy to media planning, which is still a critical part of the process and channel planning, but rooted under the idea of, an, of understanding people in real time, all the way through to social, digital solutions, and then certainly performance and decision sciences. Um, the unique thing we're working through now is how do we align audience strategy and decision sciences together at the forefront. So that sets the foundation for everything we do and build upon. So uh, with the uh, upfront approaching and you being part of an important industry leader, Omnicom, uh, how are you thinking about the, um, the, the market 
um, as digital CTV uh, transcends uh, previous boundaries and as measurement plays a larger role too? Well, it's a lot to think about <laughs> and it's a bit overwhelming. Um, I think for us, it's really evaluating what, what are the right ways in and what are the right areas to focus on? Because as we all know, data paralysis is a real thing, not just for us, but for our clients who are asking us all these questions. Um, so really figuring out what are we trying to accomplish? What areas within the digital landscape, especially within the CTV universe, are most important and critical for our clients? Is it precision? Is it precision at scale? So still building that reach, but doing it in a very precise way, which could be across multiple partners, but then you have the conversations around managing frequency and duplication and all of these other factors. So it, it comes down to understanding what the client needs and what their expectations are, our understanding of how to drive their business to reach their goals, um, and then figure out the right key components to focus on versus letting everything just really overwhelm you. So, uh, and that's true in life. So, yeah, two big is. questions. Uh, a year from now, what do you hope to have accomplished this year? And what do you think the challenges are going to be? Uh, I hope to accomplish, uh, for, for my clients specifically, uh, just greater growth and visibility into how we can evolve their brands and the way they go to market in the ecosystem. Um, because it changes so rapidly and it's a very complex um, ecosystem, how can we best be partners to them so they can, to guide them and, and simplify it for them ultimately? I think as an industry, there's a lot happening as some of the sessions yesterday alluded to from a measurement perspective. I hope we've made some headway, some, some ground on what are the right areas again to focus on? What are the truer data sets? How do we look at things um, when there are disparate data sets com uh, conflicting information with each other? Uh, so finding some clarity around that would be, would be the hope.